What's up guys? I wanted to show you my newest project. I know absolutely nothing about hot tubs when this guy dropped off. <laughs> well, I had about eight friends help lift it onto a trailer and then we dropped it off here. Got it for free. All right, so all everything works as far as like pumps and all that. We had a couple leaks here. Now, to get down to this point where the siding's off, see I broke a little bit there, you gotta be careful. This siding had, uh, each one of these panels had one to three staples going straight up into here. So to get this siding off, all it is is glued. You see the glue? It's not nailed on or anything. I might just put little brads or finishing nails when I put it back in into this wood. So yeah, it peels off and you gotta be careful. You see I cracked it here, cracked it there. I don't care. This hot tub is at my garage and it's gonna be a fun place to cool off. I got the jet pumps and all that working. All right, so I think the person who winterized this didn't winterize it all the way because we had a crack. We had a uh, just a seeping line right there, and then way back there, it was actually spewing out. There was another pipe there, and uh, I just sealed them up with some JB Weld. Obviously, that's not the way you're supposed to do it. Should have cut it right here on the pipe. Got a new elbow. Matched up our sizes at the hardware store. I know how to do plumbing, and then cut it right here. Put a new pipe on, see? But, I'm just gonna put some JB Weld there. Did the same thing to the leak back there. Now, the way I found the leak was, you see all these holes I punched? So it was basically, I started ripping the insulation out. I got up here, and I was like, whoa, it's a lot drier up here. Because the water will not leak past the base. It'll stay in there. It'll only run off once it gets up to this point. You tell this leak was going on for a while, the only part of the wood that's rotted or looks nasty and um the one further back would have been a lot more work that's why i decided to go with jb weld because i don't give a crap it was just a slow leak uh it's like a little swimming pool to cool off in uh after i'm done working i like it and it's got the massager jets nine person it's huge <laughs> So I get done work and I can just jump in to cool off. So that's how you get to your leaks, apparently. The base on this one's all sealed up, so the water won't even leak downwards. It'll only leak once it gets that far full of water. And the water kind of like osmosis, is that how you say that? Through the foam. So you keep digging through the foam. You can tear this stuff out with your fingers, see? until it gets less wet. Oh, I don't have a leak there, boom. I knew the leak was somewhere in this corner because it was leaking all the way from there to there at the bottom of the wood under the siding. It would go drip, drip, drip. So it's 500 gallons, took a long time for it to get low, but I was tired of filling it up. And uh, yeah, so after that JB Well dries, I'm gonna spray spray foam insulation in there not a whole lot, that stuff expands, it can crack windows, wood, stuff like that. So don't overfill it with uh, spray foam. I mean, these things are insulated so good. And uh, fill it back up, put my panels back on. I'll just get the old brad nailer out and toot, 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 tack a few brads in there, fill it back up with water. But before I do the spray foam, I'm gonna double check that it doesn't leak anymore. So these pipes go to the high jet pump. This has two jet pumps, low and high. And um, yeah, the cracking with the ice, I assume, because the both cracks were on the low spot. It's the only two leaks on the thing. Always leaks because that pipe is connected to every high speed jet, half of these jets. So it won't stop leaking water till it gets below these right here so you're gonna lose all your water all the way to there all your water there all your water here you're gonna lose it all because you would have to plug every one of the high-speed jets and the filter go into the high-speed jet to get it to stop leaking so that would suck also we had a couple pipes to replace here where these pipes were sitting too hot to, too close to the heater well, the heater was getting too hot because the pump had shut off. And there was also another leak down here on this little hose. It was just the hose clamp needed to be pushed forward a little bit. 
and I replaced those hoses with some car heater hose um, don't recommend you do that but that's what I did I just had it laying around like I said I'm not gonna be running this heater but if there's holes in it then you're losing losing water just like the bad old pipes all right so uh that was today's project hope you uh liked listening to me good times